Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you all today. My name is Will Horniak. I'm a storyteller, and I'd like to share with you a story from the Nez Pierce tribe, one of the great Native American tribes of North America. And they say that a long, 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 long time ago, before there were two-legged people like ourselves walking around the earth, they say there were still people. There were the flying people, the birds, swimming people, the fish. There were slithering people, four-legged people, crawling people. And all of those people gathered together because they had to decide how long day was going to be, and of course, how long night was going to be. And the first one to speak was Grizzly Bear. He was the first to speak because, well, because he was always the first to speak. <laughs> you know the type, right? And Grizzly Bear, he said, six months day. Six months no. <laughs> well, <clears throat> nobody really wanted six months of day and then six whole months of night. But nobody wanted to argue with Grizzly Bear. So everybody just sort of looked up and said, um, OK, I guess that would be fine. Uh, we'll make it work. Well, everybody said that. Everybody said that, except for one tiny little frog. Can you imagine a little frog looked up at a grizzly bear and frog just said, mm -mm. the frog said, one day, one night, one day, one night, one day, one night, one day, one night, one. <clears throat> and grizzly bear looked all around and, and finally looked down and he said, mm -hmm. Six months day, six months night. But Frog said, mm -mm. One day, one night, one day, one night, one day, one night, one. <clears throat> six months day, six months, one day, one night, one day, one night, one day, one night. Six months day, six months, one day, one night, one day, one night, one day, one night. Well, you know what finally happened? They just kept arguing. And of course, Grizzly Bear, he did what Grizzly Bears do. He just got louder and louder and louder. Six months day, six months night. One day, one night, one day, one night, one day, one night. Six months day, six months night, six, one day, one night. One day, one night, one day, one night. Well, finally, that grizzly bear, he, he shouted for so long and he shouted so loud. Six months day, <clears throat> six months night, six months day. One day, one night. That huge bear, he lost his uh, voice. And so the bear, he just went way off into the mountains. And up there, he slept and he slept and he slept about six long months. But that little frog just kept speaking up. And so ever since that day, every winter time, when he gets cold, grizzly bear, he still goes to sleep for a long, long time. But all the rest of us, we just have one day, one night, one day, one night, one day, one night. So you know what? You don't have to have a big, big voice to make a big, big difference. But you do have to speak up. Let's thank the great Nez Pierce tribe for that story. <laughs>
And finally, one of the wild pigeons said, I'm hungry, let's eat. And another one said, I'm tired, let's rest. And another said, there's a tree, let's land. And they landed at the top of a tall tree. But when they looked down and down through the boughs and the branches of the tree, they saw golden grain, their favorite food scattered at the bottom of the tree. And one of the wild pigeons said, isn't that golden grain our favorite food scattered at the base of the tree? And another said, indeed it is. Let's fly down and gobble it up. And just as they were about to fly down and gobble up the grain, there was an old tattered crow in the next tree. And the old tattered crow said, Caw! 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 And if you don't speak crow, I'll translate. He said, pigeons, be careful. It was a hunter that put the grain there. And if you fly down and gobble it up, his net will fall upon you. Oh, but the wild pigeons said, <laughs> Crow, you're a wily and deceptive creature by nature. There's no hunter and there's no net. You just want all the grain for yourself. And with that, the wild pigeons, they flew out of the tree and down and down and down they went and they landed upon the grain and they gobbled it up and swallowed it down and gobbled it up and swallowed it down and it tasted so good they didn't notice. Not far away, hiding in the brush, there was a hunter. And the hunter, he said, <laughs> those foolish birds, they've taken my bait and I'll be eating pigeon stew tonight. <laughs> and the hunter, he took his net and he threw it up into the sky. And up, up, up it went, and out, 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 and down, 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 <laughs> and it captured those wild pigeons. And they were flapping and fluttering and fluttering and flapping and trying to get free, but they couldn't. And they flapped and fluttered and fluttered and frapped, flapped, but they couldn't get free. And as the hunter, came closer and closer and closer to pick up the net. The old tattered crow flew down and said, Caw, 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 caw. And of course, that means this. He said, pigeons, be still. If you want to be free, you must learn to spread your wings together. And this time, the wild pigeons, they listened to the tattered old crow. And all together, they, they lifted up their wings like this and brought them down. And then up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And working together, they lifted the net up and up and up and up and into the sky. And they flew beneath it. And they said, we're free. We're free. And the pigeon, they flew off. And the net, it came down and down and down. And it landed on the hunter's head. Hmm. And the only sound you could hear was the sound of an old tattered crow as he flew off. And he said, Caw, caw, ha, 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 ha. And that's the old folktale from Persia about the wise tattered old crow and the wild pigeons. It has been a pleasure to be with you here today. Thank you for listening, helping me bringing these stories to life. And I look forward to gathering again with you when we can do so uh, live and in person. Thank you so much.